Hi guys, this is a program I developed earlier in Visual Basic, but the main focus of this program is the list view right here. Okay, although I also have max text box. So but let me show you how it works. All of these are all text box, and here I have combo box. There's a label there, buttons, buttons. So let's show you how it works. Now we enter the student details there. That is supposed to be the student ID and the name of the student. Let's go for Carrie and the surname. Let's say it's Casey. Address. Uh, let's go for Kingsland. Kingsland Road. Let's give the number there and telephone number right there. Number there, and what is Kerry studying? She is a medical student in fifty years. So we now add the details of Kerry onto the list view. There. Okay, we've entered some student records there. Supposing we want to duplicate any of this information here, let's start with. Let's go for student number zero nine three five right here okay and if i click on odd this is what you get the system tells you the student number zero nine three five already exists okay so let's enter another student number make sure this time around we enter the right number in there okay let's Enter a name there. Let's say the name is King, and that's the sole name. And here we have address 81. Let's go for Benin Road, Nigeria. All right, now telephone number. There's a telephone number there. What is this guy studying? Let's say studying math, and here maybe it's in third year. So we can always add that here. There, let's add it. So, what I will do now is to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment, and I'll show you how to put one of these together. So, let's do that now, guys. Okay, let's start a new program. Click on New Project. Okay, let's give this project a name. I want to call it VB underscore list underscore list view. Okay, there we go. Alright, the form is ready. Let's define the size of this form. Let's come to size right here and enter that for the size of my form. Now, the next thing I will do is to go to tools right here, drop this down, and let's look for our main list view that I intend to use. This very one, then we'll click on that very object, bring it right here. That's the list view. And now, click on this rectangle there, and let's select column right there. We can call them odd then now uh, scroll down to where we have the text there and I'm going to enter student underscore ID I would then odd now back to the same place where it say text odd first name repeat the same thing for the next one, add that will be so name. Okay, now that you've got the old idea, we then speed that up. Okay, now that that is ready, the next thing is let me add. Okay, let's add a label. I'm gonna need eight of those here. Just speed up the whole design of the label interface. 
Okay, the next thing I will need is let me get some text box in. Let's come right down here. We need about four of those. Let's copy it across. Yeah, then we need two max text box. Those two. One. And two. And let's change this the property of this max text box as you can see. Select the rectangle, click on set max and change that to I need it for telephone. So I'm gonna go for this. Now repeat the same thing for the next one. Where is it? Right there. Okay, and underneath here I need to combo box. There we go. One two so we speed up the design of this interface and um, get back to you all right this is how the interface looks now so let's take care of this uh, exit button first double click on that and enter as follows those are the lines of code for the exit button as you can see uh, i've already declared a variable there and then this message pops up and if the user selects yes the system exit that's it they're using if statement to achieve that now the next thing i want to do is you see this combo box both combo box let's populate it double click on the form load right in here let's populate the combo box right there okay so this very one will display the course information why this one display the year of the candidate so if i run it right there guys select the year take this up select the course and you can then select the year okay this they are not doing anything for now so let's exit the system and take care of let's go for odd double click on odd in the add button here or on the add button i will enter as follows there so i'm entering the following information all of the data that comes from here okay it will be added onto the system so if i run it and enter student details in there and the name okay some more information here and see how it will work all right the course here yeah, let's go for medical science 50 okay we can add okay but supposing we want to duplicate that that shouldn't be allowed to happen as you can see we are able to duplicate Paul echo so and clear only exit work so let's come back in there you see right here let's use an if statement to take care of that error so right here we enter if statement like i said earlier on and we underneath here we enter as follows okay just take it down so now you can see the codes so there okay so we have this variable that we declared here okay as list view item okay and all of these variable we enter the following data onto the list view itself okay that is if there's no duplication else if there's duplication this message pops up right there okay that's the message that pops up space in there all right and the user we have to enter another student details so that is for the add onto the list view so have a good look at it okay take it down it's from here take it down and that's it so let's run it and see what will happen if we enter student details in there and the name let's go for Paul Bowman 
and that is me and address somewhere in London okay now telephone number okay course here yeah. let's go for let's say physics and yeah fourth year or maybe let's go for medical science yeah I always like to be a doctor and add that in there now supposing we try to duplicate that you see what happened the system refuses okay but when the system refuses I like the system to actually clear the whole process you see nothing is happening okay now let's come back in here and right underneath here I like the system to clear everything so let me copy all of this and come right down here let's take it up so that you see it paste that in there delete all of this off I don't need them really I'm just being lazy and here we enter that clear okay clear this as well delete that clear this and let's speed that up okay all that is done so all we just need to do is delete that's fine delete this one as well delete this right so if when you duplicate or add this system will just automatically clear the whole of this uh, the input object that you enter in there okay let's say the name is Rares and so our name happen to be your address telephone number course year odd okay if i click on odd again that's what happened and i click on yes there that's it all gone so that's fine now now we need to be able to click on remove if you want to remove any student data and save as well okay exit that yeah so double click on remove and enter that in there that will remove whatever data that you selected or whatever column you select so let's take care of save double click on save and right up there we're going to have to enter some let's go for private So that will be private text, text file and string. A string. Okay, there. So that we take care of the save button. So when we double click on the save, we enter as follows. So those are the lines of code for save. So what will happen is when we click on save, this file will be displayed right inside the project folder, okay, in the debug area. So let's run it and see what will happen. So now, enter as follows. Let's go for student number, first name. address okay telephone number course let's move that up so that you can see the course enter maybe chemistry and year maybe third year and there okay so we can let's enter a couple of more information in there all right and i'll demonstrate how the removes and so on works there guys now that we have some information in there all you need to do is 
select whatever data you intend to delete from the roll and just click on delete and that is how the remove works now let's say you want to save this click on save there it is saved so let me show you where the file is saved right here we have the file if I double click on that and go to this folder then the bin the bug and that is the file double click on that and there that's what you see those are the two details in there can you see that guys so that is how you create a program in visual basic using list view so with that i'm going to call it the end of this program i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now